Here we are going to work through an example of a confidence interval using T. Here's the problem. The USDA takes a look at 20 farms and finds the average price that farmers receive is $2.10 per bushel and we get a standard error of 16.6 .6 cents per bushel. Now the thing is we don't know the population. We haven't looked at all of the farmers and the price that they got for their corn so we don't know the population variance. We're going to have to settle for this standard error of our sample. Now we want to find a 90 percent confidence interval for the population average price. And if we do some math we can work through and find that the price is two dollars and ten cents plus or minus six point four cents. So let's work through the math and see how that happened. Okay, so let's write down what we know. We know that n equals 20. And we also know that the price is equal to $2.10. That's our average price. And we have a sample standard error here. Our s is 0.166. And we want to find the 90% confidence interval. Well, since we don't have the population information, we're going to have to use the t distribution. n equals 20, our degrees of freedom will equal 19. So we have to go to the t table and look up, the first thing we want to do is go down that left side to 19 degrees of freedom, and then we want to go over to 0.95, right? Why not 0.9? The reason we want 0.95 is because that leaves 5% in the right tail. It would also leave us 5% in the left tail. Add those up together right here where the alpha equals 10% level. Okay. So now that number that I get off of the T table, all right, so my T with 19 degrees of freedom and 0.95 probability is equal to 1.729. All right, now my confidence interval is going to be equal to the average price plus or minus my margin of error. So here I've got this t score that I look up times square root of s squared over n. Now I can make that the price, the average price there, plus or minus t times s over the square root of n. That's the same thing. So now I get the average price plus or minus. Well, let's plug in this number for t. It's 1.729 is our value for t times, we know that s is 0.166 divided by the square root of n, n equals 20, and then we just get price, our average price here, plus or minus, work all this math out, and we get 0 0.064. All right, so that is how we would work through a problem like that.